Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. I am back today with another plant video and today is day two of Vlogmas. I have kind of a shorter video for you today. I am going to do a mini plant haul. These are plants that I have gathered over the past few months that I just haven't had a chance to show you yet. And I have nine of them to show you today. So they are in no particular order. We're just gonna jump right in. And the first one is this. It is some type of jungle cactus. I'm not gonna try to pronounce the name. I know it is related to a Thanksgiving cactus. However, there's the name for you if you are interested. The next one is also a jungle cactus. <laughs> and this one, There's the name. I think this one is related to a Easter cactus. And I really like this one because it kind of looks like little bunny ears. Very cute. I don't remember where I got those from. I think I got them from Tagawa, if you guys are local. The next one is from Home Depot. And it is this Rex Begonia. I don't know the variety. It was a lot pinker when I first got it. And it was in pretty bad condition, but I've had it in my terrarium for a couple months now and it seems to be perking up a little bit. This next one is a replacement for one that I killed and this is a Hoya Weiriae. I did get this one at Tagawa Gardens and sadly I killed mine by underwatering it for a bit and destroying its roots. <laughs> so I'm going to take much better care of this one. The next one is also a Hoya and also from Tagawa and it is this beautiful Hoya Chelsea. These are kind of hard to come by. I feel like I rarely see them anywhere and I pick them up every time I get the chance. I do have quite a few of them now, but I just really, really love how pretty the leaves are. And you guys know I'm obsessed with Hoyas, so I do have duplicates of pretty much every Hoya available. <laughs> We went to Tagawa for some plant pots because I'm going to do some plant art on the pots. Anyway, I saw this and I had to get it. And it is this. I will put the full name on screen for you right here so you will also know what it is. I cannot pronounce it. However, it is a Senecio, so it's a succulent even though it looks like a ivy kind of and I have the variegated wax ivy which is also a Senecio and it's doing really well for me so hopefully I'll keep this one alive but I thought it was so cool the veining on the leaves and then the back of the leaf is this bright purple I just broke this leaf off sorry friend oh well <laughs> This one, Jesse surprised me with this one day after work and it is just a little ZZ plant. I believe he got it from the produce section at Target. He said it was there and he felt sorry for it because it was in the cold. <laughs> so he brought it home to me to see if I could help it cheer up a little bit. And it's funny because I don't actually have a ZZ plant yet until now. Despite how common they are and how easy they are, you'd think I'd have one already, but now I do. And the last two are related. I think they're different varieties. However, I just got them today. Jesse took me to Nick's Garden for kind of an early Christmas gift. And I picked out these two. They are both Aglaonemas. I do not know the variety, but here's what this one looks like. And 
then here is this one. I thought this one was so pretty because it has a ton of pink and red on there. They could even be the same, but maybe this one has more sunlight or something. I'm not sure. Let me know if you guys know the varieties of these because I'm very new to Aglaonemas. I do have one that I purchased over the summer on clearance and it's doing really well. But I'd like to learn a little bit more about those guys. I'm pretty sure that is everything that you guys haven't seen. If I get any new plants, I will always show you, of course. That is everything for today, though. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!